Mr. Peskov. I don't know where to begin with all the uh, the allegations about uh, Donald Trump and his campaign and the Russian government. So let me ask you uh, very directly: uh, Did the Russian government have any uh, collaboration or serious communication back and forth with Donald Trump's campaign during the uh, the election campaign last year? The answer is very simple, no. And the fact that Russia is being demonized in that sense comes very strange to us. And we are really sorry about that, because this is, this, uh, the whole situation takes us, from, uh, takes us away from the perspective of uh, getting our relationship to a better condition. We, uh, quite unexpectedly, we, uh, uh, we faced a situation when Russia all of a sudden became, uh, let's say, uh, a nightmare for the United States. And we sincerely cannot understand why American people and American politicians started, well, for, started the process of self-humiliation. You are self-humiliating yourself, saying that a country can intervene in your election process. America, a huge country, country number one, the most powerful country in the world, with a, with a, yeah, with a very, very um, uh, stable political tra uh, traditions, and you say that a country can, can easily inter intervene and in in easily influence your electoral process. This is simply impossible. This is simply impossible, and when it comes to Russia, I can tell you that we never had, we do not have, and we will not have any intention to interfere in someone's domestic affairs, especially in America's domestic affairs. We will never let anyone to put his nose in our domestic affairs, but we're quite reciprocal in that, uh, in that attitude when it comes to our countries, to other countries. So what was it that uh, the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, was talking to so many of Donald Trump's associates about? This is his job. He was talking about bilateral relations. He was talking about uh, what is going on in the United States, so we have a better understanding in Moscow. This is uh, what is being performed by every ambassador of Russia abroad, every ambassador of the United States abroad, including in Moscow. Because the more ambassador talks to people in his country of residence, the better job he does. Did he have similar meetings with uh, Clinton campaign officials? Uh, because I don't know of any. Well, uh, if you look at some people connected with, uh, uh, with Hillary Clinton, during her campaign, you would probably see that he had lots of meetings of that kind. But there were no meetings about election, electoral process. There was, in no way, it should be percepted as interference in electoral process. There are lots of specialists in politology, um, uh, people working in think, think tanks, uh, advising Hillary or advising people working for Hillary. Uh, so if you, if, you, if, you, if you look at it with intention to demonize Russia, you would probably see that, yes, he was trying to interfere in Hil Hillary's activities. But it would be nonsense, because this is not true. But isn't it fair to say that uh, Mr. Putin uh, did, not, uh, did not warm to Hillary Clinton, and um, he accused her of meddling in Russia's internal affairs during the 2011 2012 uh, campaign uh, for his own presidency, um, you, you know, so it, it does seem as though he might have had a preference for Mr. Trump, given that, in his view, Hillary Clinton had tried to interfere in Russian domestic politics. You would probably recall that President Putin, during election campaign, uh, had never answered directly a question about his uh, candidate of his support. He kept saying that the, uh, we will respect a choice of American people, and or that uh, only American people can uh, and should choose their own president. 
These were the words of President Putin that he had repeated numerous times during this couple of, last couple of years. But of course, if you, if you ask him whether he had mentioned um, uh, the then candidate, uh, Donald Trump, I will answer you, yes, he had. Uh, why? The candidate, Hillary Clinton, uh, was quite negative about our country and her attitude and in her, pro in her program, declaring Russia being nearly the main evil in the world and the main threat for the United States. And to the contrary, the other candidate, Donald Trump, was saying that, yes, we, we disagree with the Russians for, for, in lots of issues, but uh, we have to talk to them in order to try uh, to find some understanding. Whom would you like better? The one who says that Russia is evil or the one that, who says that, yes, we disagree, but, but let's talk to understand and to try to find some points of agreement? Well, of course, public opinion would like the, the, the other one. It's quite natural. It's quite natural. But it doesn't mean in no way that Russia has interfered in the electoral process. So what do you make of the fact that every intelligence agency in the United States, as you know, they rarely agree on everything, on anything, and all 16 of them say that they have high confidence that Russia tried to uh, alter the, uh, the outcome of the elections in the United States? Uh, well, you know, we don't know what's the reason for these words. We've never seen any evidence, and we've never heard something trustful. What we have seen in open, a public part of a report by one of the agencies, special agencies uh, of the United States, and uh, uh, I would humbly say that it's not a paper of a high quality in terms of, of uh, being, being